Hi sir, good day. I'm Shaina May E. Mabia. I'm uh, Vincent John M. Sabas. And our topic is... Good day sir. I will discuss the pathogenesis of viral infection. Uh, viral infections are complex processes involving host pathogen interaction understanding that pathogenesis is crucial for development affected therapies and vaccines this is presentation will will delve into the integrate the mechanism of viral infections <coughs> so the host pathogen is to how microbes or viruses sustain the them, themselves within within host organi organism on molecular, cellular, or pollution level. Next is the viral entry. The initial step of in viral infection involves attachment and entry into host cells. Viruses utilize vari various various uh, receptors and entry pathways such as uh, endosynthesis or membrane fusion to gain access to the host cell and the host cells cytoplasm. So endo endosynthesis is the the ingestion of the large particles such as uh, bacteria and the uptake of fluids or ma micromolecules is small particles uh, small vessels next is viral replication once inside the host cell viruses hijack the cellular machinery or replication this process involves viral, viral genome transcription and translation leading to the production of new viral particles so <coughs> the the uh, the replication is uh, the, the transcription is the process by the I I mean the tra transcription and the translation is to how the process by which which a cell mix an RNA copy of a piece of DNA. Next is immune response. The host the host immune system plays critical role or role in combating viral infection innate and adapted ad adaptive immune responses are acti activate activated to to recognize and eliminate viral invaders providing protection against future infections so innate and adapt adaptive this is the Uh, Inmate is immune and response is immediate. The adaptive naman is immune response is not. Next is pathological effects. By viral infection can lead to a wide range of pathological effects including tissues, damage, inflammation, and organ dysfunction understanding this this effects is initial for developing targeted therapies so next viral uh, viral invasion strategies viruses have involved invasion strategies to subvert host immune responses and antiviral therapies these strategies include antigenetic Variation, immune mimicry, 
and interference with the host signaling and bad base. So, antigenetic, I, I mean, antigenic variation, this is the changes of changes in the antigenic molecules on uh, molecules of a uh, invasive invasive organi organism exposed to the immune system over the over of over the course of an uh, infection while the the immune mimicry is the one of the the one of the leading mechanism by which infections or chemical agent, uh, agents may in, induce auto autoimmunity. Next is <coughs> antiviral therapies. Several antiviral therapies target different stages of the viral replication cycle including viral entry, genome replication, and assembly. Understanding that these targets is crucial for developing infected to anti antiviral drugs. And the vaccine develop develop development is vaccine vaccines play a, a vital role in preventing viral infection by stimulating the immune system to produce protective antibodies. Understanding the viral antigens is immune responses is initial, initial for vaccines design. <coughs> so the, the anti antigens is any substance sub, substance that causes of causes the body to make an immune response against the substance next is viral mutati mutation viral mutation viral mutation can be lead to changes in viral pathogenicity and transibility transmissibility monitoring the understanding this muta mutation are critical for assay assessing the impact on the public health of vaccine infisacasi so the the pathogenicity is the to ability of organism to process disease this ability represent a genetic component of the pathogen and the overt damage done to the host is a property of the host pathogen inter interaction. While the trans transmissibility is the ratio of output to input is uh, the ratio of the force transmitted to the force applied transmitted force implies the one which is being transmitted to the foundation or the body of a particular system uh, so the next slide is continue by the next slide is continued by Shaina Mimabia, my group, my partner and her group mate. <clears throat> she, uh, she will discuss the next report. So the pathogenesis of viral infections in continuation with my partner. So the host factors, it's uh, unknown. So it, it, when it comes to pathogenesis, these are the certain factors that can influence the sustainability to viral infections. First, the immune system status. It awakens immune system such as the age. And the next is the genetic factors. The genetic variation in host genes involved 
in immune response that can affect sustainability to viral infections. So, diba, it also includes the host behaviors where these factors such as hygiene practices, the social interaction, can affect the livelihood of the viral tran- transmission and infection. Next is the emerging treats or emerging viral treats. These are the new viruses that spread to humans and cause illnesses. So these are from ano, from animals like bats and birds. So i ano nangyari na to last last year sa atin from ano from China, diba? So ju- it jumps to human through close contact. So example is the Ebola virus and the COVID-19 virus. This can cause no outbreak that happened for the past years but our scientists work to understand to stop them for the public for our safety also next is the therapeutic challenges the development of effective antiviral therapies faces several challenges so in this treating viral infection i think it's very hard because viruses can change any time and you know it's also hard to kill the viruses without harming our healthy cells in our body plus there are so many new viruses that keeps popping up so we need to keep searching new treatments for this the public health implications viral infections have significant public health implications including the outbreaks pandemics and global health disparities understanding this implication is important for effective public health intervention interventions so diba when the virus infects someone it can spread easily from person to person making people sick so it leads to pandemics that happened to us this past few years so to prevent this public health measures like vaccinations Hygiene practices and quarantine are important to stop the spread on the virus and protect everyone's health. Next, the future directions. So, advance in genomic technologies, immunotherapy, and vaccine design offer promising avenues for unraveling viral pathogenesis and developing innovative interventions. So, collaborative research efforts and are essential for future progress. So, to this, our scientists work on finding new treatments that target specific parts of the viruses. So, the advanced technologies will help them to see how viruses interact with our cells. Collaborating with different fields of science will be important for making the progress of it. So, it is very important to know the, ano, the, the technologies it's for us also. Next, clinical management or whose immune responses and personalized treatment treatment approaches. So for this, it also involves treating the symptoms caused by the viruses and it supports the body's immune response. So the ethical considerations is related to research, vaccine distribution, and global health equity. So there are so many ethical considerations involved. First is to prioritize treatments and how to balance individual rights with public health need. So example, when you know, when ensuring the consent for the medical interventions or protecting the patient's privacy while they are sharing their personal personal health information. So you so the pathogens enter the body through portal of entry and leave through portals of exit. So here are the stages of pathogenesis. First, the exposure. So the exposure, this refers to coming into contact with the virus, such as through being near someone who is infected or touching a surface contam- contaminated with a virus. So this refers to being uh, no, in contact with someone that can cause disease or health problem. Example, exposure to certain chemical that can cause your food poisoning. So next, after the exposure, the adhesion. The virus needs to stick to and enter cells in the body to cause an infection. Adhesion is a process by which the viruses attach itself to the surface of the cells. So next is the invasion. 
Once the virus has adhered to a cell, it invades the cell by entering it. This is the process by which the virus gains access to the inside of the cell where it can replicate and cause damage. So this refers to when harmful microorganisms like bacteria or viruses enter and spread within the body causing ex- infection or diseases. So example of this is the ano. When the virus enter the body through respiratory system, it can invade all cell and replicate causing the symptoms like coughing or fever. Next to invasion is the infection. This is the establishment and multiplication of the virus within the body. Example, when the bacteria enter on a wound on the skin, they can multiply and cause redness, swelling, and pain which can gain or sign of an infection. And last is the transmission. This refers to the spread of the virus from one person to another. It can occur through virus routes such as direct contact. So the example of this is touching one infected person, droplet transmission, coughing or sneezing, or in the direct contact, touching contaminated surfaces. So that's all. Thank you.